So Zach, this is a great question on um, spiritual discernment on what to cancel and what not to cancel and what to accept. Um, and um, so, uh, yes, there is an aspect. I mean, for me, it's like um, spiritual. Uh, usually what on a practical level, I only cancel the things which are causing me a lot of distress. Uh, I'm not going to cancel anything because it takes time. Like it uh, can take up to months and years to cancel an illness. Uh, everything that I've canceled has actually disappeared, but it's like a huge amount of work to cancel something. And and they have gone things like um, the need for medication, uh, being on a dialysis machine, um, <clears throat> asthma inhalers, um, gout medication. So that has all been, uh, thank you, God, just by cancelling, all that stuff did leave, even though some of that stuff took a few years of cancelling. So it's like, uh, um, <clears throat> would I cancel something which is hardly noticeable and which seems to be like um, fine, doesn't really bug me? No, I wouldn't really cancel anything like that. What about if I, had, I didn't have a leg? Should I spend the rest of my life cancelling my belief that I haven't got a leg? Um, well, you know, th those type of things are like, uh, or should I just uh, accept it? I think those type of things are like, um, I, I've experienced astonishing miracles, really, really astonishing miracles, but there, there's an intuitiveness around it. And, and yes, it, it is possible to cancel something from ego. Like um, I could try canceling that I, my belief that I've got a, I haven't got much money in my bank account. But if that's, is that coming from ego? <laughs> is that, is that, is that coming from my ego? Is, is grace, is the infinite, is the infinite realm going to do that? Because that's coming from my ego. Like my ego is going, it would be nice if I can use this as a magical aid to manipulate God to give me a, win the lottery. Uh, so shall I just cancel that? And is it likely that will happen? You know, God give me the miracle, so my ego can enjoy all that money and sort of show off. Well, I think uh, that's not going to work. You know, because that's clearly coming from ego, and miracles aren't of the ego. So. Um, I think as well, you know, the thing, with, I mean, I guess the thing with, the, with, the, with you know, there's no leg. I mean, sometimes God works in mysterious ways. It's like, you know, I haven't got a leg. You know, you just cancel your belief I haven't got a leg. And a solution may come, you know, it might actually in some way, in some technological way or in some way or some miraculous way, that problem may get get resolved. Um, or it may not. Uh, is it? Is it any? E I think if it's coming from an ego, and that was the question I was asked. How do you know? Uh, is it my ego that wants to do do something like uh, <clears throat> get more money in the bank account or grow another leg? And what would be the motive? Another good question to ask: Is it coming from grace? Usually, um, I would say a lot of the miracles that I've had, from a spiritual point of view, would be just to sh bear witness to others that such miracles are possible, you know? But if it's coming from an eager motive, like uh, I just want, hey guys, I can use the Course of Miracles to make lots of money in my bank account. Uh, here's the magic formula so you can enjoy tons of money. Here's the secret canceling belief. <laughs> so, cancel belief, I cancel belief, I'm money, money. I'm an infinite being. Uh, but if it's coming from an ego motive, I mean, grace is not going to provide that. The, the Holy Spirit's not going to provide something that aids the ego. So um, I think, you know, uh, my experience is if there's genuine suffering and pain and uh, and it's coming from a humble place and there's um, the, 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 the cancellation or the prayer for a miracle is from a genuine place of easing suffering and there's no ego involved in it. I think it's it's OK to do it and a miracle may occur. I think like when I'm doing something from ego or to show off or just for vanity reasons, I think the miracles, you know, it's like my real motive is more from ego that I'm doing this cancellation. And so I don't, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't work. You know, it's like, uh, Sabir, I've been cancelling this thing for years and it's not worked. But if, it, if there's any ego motive in there, I think it won't work. Um, so there's got to be done, done from, so how do you know? But then that could, could ask me the question, but how do you tell the difference? Is it from ego? Or is it from thing? Well, I think um, uh, <clears throat> the motive is um, to let go of the ego and to reside in the infinite, you know, to be in those infinite states. It can't be for a material thing to show off or 
or just a vanity thing. Uh, so um, uh, another thing is like, uh, so for me, cancelling is like imploring the infinite to relieve the suffering that the ego, my ego has created, but um, it's not to, uh, for the ego to have any kind of ego motive in having it gone and still sort of get a payoff out of it. So it's that spiritual discernment. Um, and when done for genuine reasons, a miracle may or may not occur in the sense that I also think that certain, you know, to cancel something very heavy, like kidney failure, which is like heavy, heavy belief, took five years. So something like cancelling a very, very heavy belief system, which is enmeshed within a core belief and is enforced by doctors and the whole world, to cancel that could take many, many years. So uh, it may or may not happen in a lifetime, and it's under God's ordinance, if you like. Like, what would be the motive? Does that serve the highest good? So um, I'm still trying to answer the question clearly. How do I tell the difference? So the difference is, um, I would just say, like, when you feel intuitively it's coming from a humble place with no ego motives, and you're doing it from a genuine spiritual place of humility, um, you cancel the belief without any outcome or expectation if it feels genuine. Uh, that's a very bizarre qu way to answer the question, but it's uh, today it's the best way I'm answering it. Um, and you only do things if, if it feels it's coming from a genuine place of the serving the highest good and there's no ego motive in it. You know, I, I was once doing, um, this is true, I was running a, uh, a Dr. Hawkins group uh, when I was a hypnotherapist in my office and uh, we tried kinesiology and, and it was a mystical thing because everyone was doing the kinesiology on that day and we were all getting the right answers. It was like, Sabir, what's your birthday? And it was like, the, these two girls checked my birthday. They got my birthday. Then I checked with one of the girls, the other one's birthday, and we got her, her birthday. And then the girl said at the end, ah, this would be a good party trick. And, uh, you know, and I'm sure it wouldn't work if she went to the party and tried to show off. I'm sure it wouldn't work in, in, in that scenario because it was from a place of genuine humility and getting to know God that we're doing it. But I'm sure if you had a motive of cancelling or any kind of ego motive uh, or try to show off, the miracle could be taken away. So, um, so. Um, uh, I think, you know, miracles are often evidence to others of the miraculous. Uh, uh, that's how they should be used as opposed to a vanity show off thing. Um, so, um, yeah, I hope that was helpful in some way. <laughs>